just going to talk briefly about the tangling your hair mostly with your fingers. So I have like partially at the beginning detangled my hair with my fingers like and I've heard of this method and when I was younger I always thought to myself like if you didn't have a comb would you be able to keep your hair groomed with just your fingers? Um, it would be tricky, yes. It would be very tricky, yes. But it's possible. So a lot of people say you get a lot less breakage in your hair if you detangle mostly with your fingers. So yesterday I decided to try that. So I know a lot of people are like Hannah's messy, but I love the way that Henna kind of strengthens my hair. And it was funny today because actually I had a woman and usually men are the ones that say, oh yeah, really pretty hair, but like it's kind of changed where today I actually had a woman driving by and she told me, oh your hair is so pretty, which was really unexpected. I was like, oh thank you. But you know, I did spend a lot of time detangling my hair yesterday after I washed it. So I did a henna treatment on my hair. And then when I went to go rinse it, like I did a conditioner wash where I used Love Planet and Beauty. There was also like a power stick conditioner. Like I used a large amount of conditioner. Like I did three rinses of my hair with conditioner, okay? Just to make sure I got all the henna out. I think I'm gonna modify how I do henna the next time around when I do henna. But anyway, um, I don't wash my hair every day. I wash my hair like every two weeks, but I do a lot of scalp rinses. I think I've showed that before where I rinse out my scalp. But you know, I'll also kind of wet down my hair throughout the days and stuff. And also when I'm taking a shower, I just always let water get into my scalp and I kind of massage my scalp. And if it feels oily in places, like I'll take a tiny bit of shampoo and water and kind of wash that part of my scalp, which is great for having to not wash the entire length of your hair. And when your hair is knee length and on the thicker side, um, it takes time to detangle your hair. So I thought I would try, since I had the whole day off yesterday to do this, I thought it would be great to just try detangling my hair all the way with just my fingers. And I mostly did it with my fingers, just a little bit of combing at the end, just a little bit. We'll say is this took longer, okay? I used a little bit of coconut oil to kind of help me doing this. It took longer, but I think the payoff is there's a lot less breakage. A lot of people are very wanting to get their hair detangled fast. Like I say, it's a race to the finish. But I do think there's something to be said. Like if you're worried about breakage in your hair, and I'm not saying you should completely all the time always detangle your hair with your fingers. I, I did use a comb at the end to kind of smooth it out. But I think if you can do maybe up to 80% of detangling your hair with your fingers, you're going to have far less breakage. And this is very useful if you're like on a long hair journey where you want to grow your hair long. It just could be very conducive for you. So my tip this evening for anybody who's wondering like, are they tired of breakage like after they wash their hair? Maybe just try like, okay, I know people aren't going to want to spend forever detangling their hair. I get it. I like spending time on my hair. People go to the salon and they spend a lot of time on their hair. I don't understand like why it's always such a race to detangle your hair. Like some people they, I feel like they think if they don't do it super lightning speed fast that they're wasting their time. But you know what I did yesterday? I did something really fun. I watched Netflix as I detangled my hair with my fingers and it was enjoyable. Like there's this new show that I'm watching called um Jane the Virgin. So I would kind of watch that one because it's in English and I can kind of do that as I'm detangling my hair. Now I'm watching another show called Mr. Sunshine and I can't really do that if I'm detangling my hair because I have to read the captions and I'd be too distracted. But if you're just like watching a lighthearted show or easy kind of fun show like when you're detangling your hair, I think that makes it really easy and less monotonous. Like it's a great way like if if you want to just have less breakage and you're not obsessed with like detangling your hair really fast, which to me like, okay, I guess like some people feel really great detangling their hair fast, but I like to take my time so that I'm just not unnecessarily breaking hair. So that's my tip for you. Try um, finger detangling your hair. It's actually kind of fun and cathartic too because like um, 
you're kind of giving yourself a scalp massage. Like I don't do a specific scalp massage, but as I'm like just working out the knots in my hair, like once I get to the top, I'm kind of just putting my fingers in my scalp and it just feels really good. And it was actually kind of a lot of fun. So I don't know if you want to try something new, try finger detangling your hair. Like I highly recommend it. It is time consuming. But the mega payoff is a lot less hair breakage. Like, oh my goodness, buddy. Like, less breakage than ever. Like, when you do it that way and you just kind of use the comb to maybe, like, smooth out the hair. I highly recommend this. So, maybe it's something to try. Thanks for watching.